Welcome back to the Do Hard Things Today podcast. It is Friday, and that means we're going five for Friday. Today, we are talking how to get faster. A lot of people like to go out there and run, but we wanted to give you five things that can make you a faster runner. Everybody wants to be fast. Jed, don't you want to be a faster runner? I do. Yeah, hey, and you had your <laughs> fastest mile that you ever had last year after you did the 5K at Disney for the first time. Believe it or not, we were on a, on a ship, on a cruise ship. And um, Bonnie was walking with me, and we we did it a couple of days. And she said, "Why don't you lead today? Let's see how fast we can go." I said, "You sure?" Because you know she's she's five four and I'm six four, so I'm I'm a step to her two and a half most of the time. She said, "Yeah." She said, "You don't even have to look back here." She said, "I'll keep up." And we did a mile you know, walking. We never broke a jog or anything. We did a mile around it's thirteen eleven, thirteen ten, somewhere in there. That is hoofing it. Yeah, we were, we were getting it. <laughs> Get, but but it was fun. Yeah, it, it was pretty good. Wow. Getting after it. And we've got Coach Katie Malone here, everyone's favorite triathlon and running coach. And we are going to ask her to give us her expertise on how to get faster. So what's five ways we can get faster? Okay. I'm, I'm going to start speed work. Mm. And I know this sounds mm, crazy, fun. but go to the track. Mm. Go on a flat road. And if you're really having trouble running fast, here's my favorite one. Kind of go on a gradual descent. Like not a steep downhill, but just like a false flat that's slightly downhill to help you learn to run faster. There you go. And I want to preface all this by saying everybody wants to run faster. But when we start talking about things like this, like, oh, go to the track. Do some speed work. Oh, okay. Then everybody was like, uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on a second. That's, that's too, I just want to get faster. And so, so I, I, I preface all this by saying that to get faster, it's going to take some hard work and she's going to tell us the things that work hard. So go to the track, do speed work. Go to the track, do speed work. Start. I would start with four hundreds. That's mm-hmm. one lap around the track for anybody who doesn't know. Go out there, run that hard one time and see what your time is. Like, yep. don't be looking at your Garmin pace or any of that. Just use the stopwatch. Did it take you two minutes? Did it take you two and a half minutes? Did it take you three minutes? This is kind of going to give you um, a baseline for where you need to be. Yep. Go out there, run it hard, then walk a lap. One lap, one full lap, then do another one hard. If you're just beginning, do two or three the first time and then... Do a little cool down, jog, walk, whatever you need, and then go back the next week. You want to do this every week. Increase the number of 400s you're doing. You can do 600s. You can do 600, lap and a half, 800s, two laps, whatever you feel is appropriate. I mean, there are lots of programs out there. Hal Higdon sometimes, I think, has speed work in his that are at the track. Um, But do it every week. Every week. I mean, just be religious about going to the track and you will get faster. Go to the track. So that's number one. Number two. Cadence. Mm. Explain cadence again. Cadence is how many steps per minute you're taking. And why is that important? It seems like if you took longer steps, less cadence, less less times, seems like that would be faster. Why is that not faster? Taxes your muscles a lot more. Mm. So you may be faster for... For a short, a yeah, short little distance. A sprinter, yeah. but like, you know, usually we're not looking at sprinters as adults. You know, nobody's running track meets anymore in their 50s, usually. Yeah. I mean, I, I know there are some people who run track, and congratulations to you, but they are hard to find. Most people are running a 5K. Okay. So working on your cadence, first of all, knowing what your cadence is. So when you do that track workout, look at your Garmin data. Look at what your cadence was when you did your 400s. If it was 160, 160 steps per minute, that's kind of on the low side. So you want to start learning how to take smaller, quicker steps, swing your arms faster, your legs will follow. So how, well, how do you do that? How do you do that? Because that sounds really simple, but just take more steps. Swing your- shorter steps. Shorter, shorter steps. It's going to feel short and choppy. It will not feel good. Okay. I can promise you that anybody who has gone from taking a really long stride and heel striking to taking short little steps, they always tell me this feels awful. I don't like it. I'm like, but you're going to run faster. You will like it then. It's funny. 
as soon as they start running faster and they're not injured, they're like, this is fantastic. Yeah. I have, I have yet to have anybody tell me it doesn't work. Okay. So getting that cadence up. That's Paying attention two. to your cadence. Learning what your cadence is. All yep. Right. Number three? Uh, nutrition. Hmm. Nutrition. Start um, hydrating, using electrolyte drinks. Start cleaning up your diet. Um, you know, look, if I put on a five-pound backpack and I go out and do a run, it's heavy. If I drop five pounds from my frame, running's a lot easier. Yeah, you Five think? pounds. I mean, like, it's not a lot. Clean up your eating. Clean up your eating. Number four. The mental aspect. Mental aspect. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get control of what you're thinking and what you're telling yourself. So why is, why is that important? I thought this was all just about physiology. Well, some of it is, but not everything. How does your mental game affect how fast you're running? Because if you're telling yourself that you're slow, you're heavy, you're slow, you can't do this every day, you will believe it. Mm -hmm. If you start saying nicer things to yourself, it will change your relationship with your running. You know, and that is true because I've, I always, I, I joke about it a lot of times. I'm like, hey, I can, I can get going and I can just go forever. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like a diesel engine, just out mm-hmm. there, just keep keep going. But I'm not, and I will say things like, "But I'm not fast. I'm not fast. I'm not going to run a fast 5K. I'm not going to run a fast half marathon and those kind of things." And so I've I've tried to back that up a little bit and challenge myself to start getting faster. And at 51 to go, I, I want to run. I, I, my goal for going into the my race in January of the, during that dopey challenge is to get back under two hours on a half marathon. And that, for some of you, it's like, well, that's not very fast. Well, it's, for him it, it is. it's considerably fast for, for where, where I've been. And so, but, but I do find myself saying those things. And I think sometimes those things are as much, not about being negative to ourselves, but as much kind of giving yourself an out of, well, Hey, I'm just not that fast. Well, have you really put in the work to try to go out and be fast? Well, and, the work supports, you know, you build the confidence from the work you do. Yeah. And, but you also have to practice being nice to yourself. So here's the thing. It, it's, it's something that I like to say to everybody. If you would not say it to your child, why are you saying it to yourself? Mm, that's good. I mean, because you would never go say to your daughter, you're slow. Yeah. You, you, oh, honey. You're, you're just a big girl. You're just slow. Yeah. You, you know, you're good. You're great going long distance, but you're just slow. Yeah. You you would never say that to a kid, I, ever, I, even if it's true. I have a friend who, when she catches you criticizing yourself, will say to you, don't talk about my friend that way. I love it. <laughs> Isn't that great? I'm going to start. I'm, gonna start. Yeah. I'm stealing that from her yeah. because that is great. Be- but it's true. We need to talk to ourselves in a much nicer way. Um You know, I I said the other day to someone, you have an angel on your shoulder and you have a devil on your shoulder and they are both talking in your ear. Who are you going to listen to? How important really is all that stuff? The positive, the, the, the positive things that you say inside your head and those kind of, it's the most important thing. The most important. It is, it is. I will say that this is the absolute most important thing that you can learn how to do. Huh? It's more important than anything else. Everything else is garbage compared to what you say to yourself in your head. Really? Yes. That's interesting, Jen. It is. But it's with everything. Because this I'm does the world's not, worst. But it applies to everything. We are terrible how we talk to ourselves. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I'm not going to say I'm not guilty, but man, when it comes to racing, because I've practiced it so much, I can ace this. Yeah. Put me in a race, my focus changes. And I just have like great stuff to say to myself. I might as well be coaching somebody what I'm saying to myself in my head. And, you know, I think when I realized how good I am at the mental game was when I heard my child saying things that I say to everyone else, when I heard him saying those things to other people, I realized I have verbalized it so much to many people, like what they need to be focused on. That now my kid says this all the time. Mm. It starts starts manifesting itself. Our kids are listening. Mm. 
Oh, you think? Kevin. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they are. Mm-hmm. And and so like when we say bad things to ourselves, like the kids hear this. Yeah. And they're like, well, mom and dad say this. So. A- anyway, that's I'll get off my platform because that's a whole nother subject. But I really do think that if you want to be faster, you got to work on your mental game. All right. Number five. This is my favorite one. And it's one that until recently I might have said wasn't really a thing. But I think if you want to be faster, find some fast friends. Mm. Because when you have somebody that you just train with, you know, like they're your training buddy, mm-hmm. who is of similar ability and able to push you, it's amazing what happens. It's really incredible. And it, it makes it fun and it makes you want to show up. If you're not showing up for yourself that day, at least you're going to show up for your friend. So where do you find these fast friends at? Well, um, that's a good question. Where do you find fast friends? You can stalk them on Strava. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. That is not where you find your fast friends, but it's a start. Um, you know, Strava, unfortunately, and fortunately, lets you see who is running in your neighborhood. And if you have somebody running in your neighborhood who runs very close to your pace, time to make friends. Mm. Um, I'm not kidding. I mean, it's, it's like, it's, in some ways, Strava is horrible because it, it makes you want to compare yourself all the time, but it also really allows you to see who's out there and who's doing what. Yeah. Um, recently, with, with our team, I have put some people together. I've been like, you know what? You all are pretty close in pace. You live pretty close together. Maybe you two can train some. And it has been amazing. I can think of two situations in particular where everybody is benefiting. It's not just a one-way, like, oh, I'm faster than you are, so I'm not getting anything out of it because you're not faster. It works because of that showing up aspect. Yeah. So, you know, like... I feel like it's more important than I realized. Nice. And run groups. You find those people in run groups too. Yeah. Um, you know, if you see the girl who's always up ahead and you want to be up there with her, make friends with her. Because chances are she is going to encourage you and will turn out to be a friend. That's good. That's, That's my good. five. All right. That's your five for Friday. We do those quick. We do them hard. And they are awesome tips. And if you will take those tips and – actually go implement them, you will become a faster runner and you will become, I think, a better person. And the mental stuff, the friend stuff, there's a lot there, a lot there. So, yeah, take these things, go implement them in your life and become faster. And like we always say, if you will do the hard things today, tomorrow will take care of itself.